Would you like to double your FPS in Star Citizen? How about triple it? Or maybe quadruple it? This is not a clickbait video. In this video I'm going to show you just how you can do that with just one simple app. This will be available in every game. Looks amazing, it adds FPS, but it's with a little price. Let's go into it. So the name of the app that I'm talking about is Lucid Scaling. You can find this app on Steam for 6.8 euros. And what it does is absolutely mind-boggling. First, you have a scaling. You can choose any scaling that you like. For example, NVIDIA Image Scaling. Then, you have also this frame generation. Now, when NVIDIA created 4090, they said, we cannot bring this to all the generation. We cannot give this to 3090, for example, or 2080. Well, with this app, these guys did it. They made this possible for everyone to use it. As long as you have an RTX possible card, whether it was AMD with FSR or NVIDIA with RTX, it works. So all you have to do is go press here scale and then press inside of the game and it will start. Or if you don't like to do that, you can set up here the settings. Control Alt plus S will enable it and then pressing it again will turn it off. Click start as an administrator and start minimized at Windows startup. To run this app, you also have to have installed Steam and you have to have it turned on. So to bypass this, just click start minimized at the Windows startup. Then the app launch without Steam itself and you can use it with no problem. So let's finally do it. Let's go back into the game. So as you can see it, I have around 40 FPS right now. If I press Ctrl Alt S, there we go. Now it's turned. Now all of a sudden I have double FPS. Look at this. On the right side you see my real FPS, on the left you see the frame generated FPS. The only downside that I've seen so far is when you're scrolling very fast, look at this, it becomes a little bit see-through. How this app works is it creates additional frames. So what it does is copies your frame and then create another one and puts it in front of this. And the result speaks for himself. Yeah, this is so good. I don't know how good will this be on the recording device because I really had problems with recording the image from this. But other than that, in real person looks absolutely stunning. Only the bug is if you are turning around, it makes these problems. Now, this app works best if you can cap the frames. So for example, at 60 and then you will have double 120. The downside of this app is it only generates the frames until your FPS of your monitor. For example, I have 120 and I cannot go past that. But since this is a star citizen and the FPS are already low, yeah, that, it, that isn't much of a problem. The other problem is latency. Copying and creating a new AI generated frames requires some time. So it will not be snappy as it is without loosely scaling. But it's Star Citizen, you don't need <laughs> and the desync is already bad, so it doesn't matter too much. I wouldn't use this for competitive gaming, but for everything else it works like a charm. Now some of you may not like this, saying these are not real frames, but I'm telling you in person it's stunning and it's definitely worth of the money. I'm going to be using this app every time I'm playing with my friends, every time there's a big event and I'm not have to record it, but if the if I manage to set up my recording even better, I may use it even in my future videos. Now this app works best when you are having over 60 FPS. So copying 30 FPS to 60, it's not an easy task. Because of that, we are going to head in the space to show you the true power of this app. Let's have fun. So now I'm inside of my hangar and I have around 50 FPS, which translates to 100 FPS. Look how smooth everything is. It feels like a completely different game. There's no loss in quality at all, other than occasional ghosting when you turn around very fast, but it is negligible how good this looks. Amazing. Let's go inside of our ship. 
and test it for ourselves in space. Oh, look at our beautiful Firebird. Attritions are finally working in 3.24.3. Let's go into space. Look how smooth everything it is. 96-70 FPS, wow. I mean, this looks amazing, guys. For such a small investment, this feels generally like I have bought a new graphics card. If only I could be able to get gateway. Oh, we have the gateway, finally. And, just like that, we are on the beautiful Babbage. Now here, the FPS is horrendous, but still, look how good the FPS in the game is. Whatever percentage of FPS I have, this program doubles it. So here we are, above the Babbage. We have around 50 FPS, that is 100 inside of this app. Look at this. I don't see any difference in loss of the quality. Now, maybe the recording will not show it up as I see it with my eyes, but what I see is just absolutely stunning looking game. Let's switch so we can fire. Look at this. Absolutely good. I like it. Since Star Citizen is the game that already has a lot of stuttering, occasional stuttering will happen and drop in FPS, but when you have a stable FPS like I right now have above Babbage, wow. So what you want to do is try to maximize your FPS before you turn this on. That way you will have more from this app. So it cannot create the miracles, it has to have something to do with. And when it has the right amount of FPS, it just looks stunning. No question about it. As I said, the downside is a little bit of latency, but I haven't noticed anything in Star Citizen. In other games, like maybe Black Meat Wukong, it would be a little bit also more noticeable because you have to evade very fast the attacking, but other than that, amazing. Speaking of Black Meat Wukong, let's jump into the game and see how good it is inside of other games. So here we are inside of Black Meat Wukong, as you can see I have around 60 FPS. Let's see how good this works when we turn it on. Now for some reason when I turn it in Black Meat Wukong my recording becomes a little bit more darker but when I'm looking with my real eyes it doesn't change anything so even if you'd see it a little bit more grey for me it's totally normal. As you can see now I have around 90 FPS which is really really nice. The same problem as in Star Citizen when you move very fast you can see through the character other than that no problem at all. Let's start to f fight someone. There's nobody here. Oh my god, how smooth it is. I never played Bat Mi Black Mid Wukong so smooth. Let's take this one here. Nice. I love it. So there it is, my fellow citizens. Such a small app that makes wonders. It changes everything. I really love it. What are your thoughts about it? Write me down in the comments. Do you think this can improve your gameplay? I don't recommend this app to someone who is recording videos like I'm doing. It still has some problems. Maybe I have to do or change something, I don't know. But other than that, it looks stunning. And I'm very happy to use it when I'm playing alone and not recording. Or maybe I'm playing with some friends and I need every extra frame that I can get. Thank you for watching my fellow citizens, I hope this will help you. If it does help you, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your friends. And until next video, have fun out there.